when I tell you the temperature has dropped, I am not exaggerating. I came outside to come and see this red, red moon, the beaver moon. It's the next day, <laughs> no more beaver. <laughs> the moon is now white again. So I guess I missed it, but it's still a powerful moon, you know. I believe they say 48 hours after, you can still, you know, reap the benefits or whatnot. Wow, I'm telling you it's cold. This week I was actually not gonna do a video. Um, I was gonna skip this week, but Spirit has been telling me. <laughs> I've just been getting this like weird urge to do a video because I stated that I would not miss a week, you know, for the rest of the year. So this is me fulfilling what I said. <sighs> Um, I don't have a destination in mind for biking to today, so this is actually going to be more of a talk. Um, yes, it's going to be more of a talk. So, whew, I'm going to find somewhere to stop and then we'll talk. It's, it's cold, brick cold. I don't know if I can do this all winter. I probably can, but like on the like extremely snowy days, I'm probably gonna do a 4 a.m. walk and not a ride because I have done a ride in the snow. I do not recommend it. Oh, wow, look at this moon. It's just me and the moon right now. I'm telling you guys, not by flesh, but by spirit. <laughs> we've all, well I don't know if we've all heard that statement before but I grew up on that statement not knowing what it meant you know and as I climb up the ladder of my 20s I, <laughs> I feel like I just understand it much more not by flesh but by spirit Ooh, it's cold out here I'm not gonna lie this moon is just so beautiful it's not blood anymore, it's not a blood moon anymore. <laughs> but it is so potent, like I still feel it, you yeah? know? Uh, oh my goodness. Wow, this is so sad. Life is so annoying. You know, I didn't even want to film this week. I'm not even gonna lie. I did not want to film. But I said, I told myself I'm gonna be consistent, you know? And Spirit keeps reminding me that I said I was gonna be consistent. So I didn't even feel content with not f filming when I said, you know, regardless of what I'm going through, I will be consistent. But even with what I'm going through, Spirit. I've been reminded of that sentence that like not by flesh but by spirit like whatever you're going through really I'm away for this train oh. anyway like I was saying I'm going through it right now and throughout this time I've just realized that like not by flesh but by spirit like I can talk to as many people as I want but in all reality, I really have to just go to spirit, you know? Go within and figure it out. Like, I think we, we focus too much on the outer, neglecting the inner. Like, who cares about how good you look? Who cares about all your accolades? Like, all that shit don't matter. That's why people get to a certain level and they commit suicide because internally they're not content, you know? And if you're not content internally, nothing else matters. Like everything else around you will crumble. Don't care how loved you are, how whatever you are, but if you don't love yourself, if you don't tackle the problems within yourself, if you're out here just trying to make your life look all fancy, you know, to the masses or whatnot, but you're not taking care of your internal, none of that shit matters. All of that will crumble. I guarantee you, all of that will crumble. There are so many people out here that are 
living just a lie like trying to keep up with the trends keep up with the masses keep up with the drones like show show you their the new fucking stupid ass bag <laughs> like show you oh look i'm happy but in reality they're really not and that in itself just makes me so mad not even sad but mad <laughs> because it's like who are you fooling you're really fooling yourself like you're out here smiling and I wouldn't even say the fuck like I just smile regardless you know like I could be going through it and I'm smiling but the thing is like people will really paint it as if like oh life is completely amazing and not really take ownership of what's truly happening and that's why things hit people so hard you know but anyway (laughs) I went on a whole rant I'm really not going to be here for too long because I want to get out of here and get started my day I've been waking up consistently around like the time change as well has really helped me but I've been waking up so even earlier than four you know even earlier than four but what was I gonna say um yeah not by flesh but by spirit and I feel as a as I climb up the ladder of my 20s I'm starting to understand that more in that we often take our problems to all these different people even people that may not even know us completely but who knows us completely as spirit no matter what you believe in you know if you have a religious title over what you believe or if you just believe in the universe if you believe in spirit your ancestors if, even if you're an atheist even that stem like i want to challenge that because even that stems from a sense of belief like you're stating yeah i don't believe in anything but in reality you believe in something you believe that you don't believe in anything you know and i think all of these things what they all have in common is faith anything that anybody believes if you're muslim if you're christian if you're um buddhist whatever it's all based around faith so as long oh this camera (laughs) yeah so what ties all of these things or what the common denominator within all of these religions or all of these beliefs it's faith you know so whatever you believe it's really just based around faith and it's really just like goes back to that sentence of not by flesh but by spirit and spirit can be anything spirit can be whatever you believe in you know so with that i think i'm learning that sometimes i just talk too much my camera just died and yeah but um See, I lost my train of thought because my camera is dying. <laughs> Maybe that's a sign. I just need to make this talk really quick as well. But I'm just here to remind you. Make sure you're taking care of internally versus just externally. You know, because you can do all these external things and still not feel content. Um, yeah, that's really it. Not by flesh, but by spirit. I'm telling you. If you really take whatever you're going through and take it to the source of who you believe in or what you believe in, you'll feel so much more at peace rather than allowing so many people into your business. Because really, humans really have a limitation. <laughs> we are human. We we are not God. You know, we are God. We are own, we are our own individual gods, but we are not God in that we self-sacrifice for others to that extent we're not we're not on the cross i feel like that's a good analogy but yeah (laughs) i'm just gonna leave it as it is this is my morning talk 4 a.m morning talk for this day um it's now actually six so i'm gonna head to the gym what time is it actually oh wow it is it Oh, life, man. Sometimes you're having the best time of your life, you know. And like, that's why it's really good to live in the moment too, because you never know what the next moment may be. <laughs> that is, oh, that's a line. That is why it is good to live in the moment as well, because you never know what the next moment may be. <laughs> that's a line. You really don't. Wow. Wow, live in the moment because you never know what the moment, the next moment may be. I'm gonna use that in my next TikTok video, <laughs> for real. 
because we we spend so much time worrying about the future, the past, you know, our current situations, and like we forget this very moment. Like I'm here watching night turn into day, <laughs> and the moon is right in front of me, and the sunrise is actually reflecting off of the buildings, and I'm missing all of that because I'm so worried about what I'm going through. You know. It's crazy. Ugh. It's crazy. Live in the moment because you never know what the next moment may be. That is facts. That is facts. If I didn't say anything of knowledge just this week, that is the line that did it for me. All right, let me head out. Have a beautiful day. I'm actually probably going to post this today. I'm going to go to the gym, edit it, (laughs) post it. It's a quick edit, so it shouldn't take me long. Um, But yeah, have a beautiful day. I'm kind of glad I didn't miss a week. Because I was literally full on going to leave this week and then just come back next week. But I made a commitment to myself that I'm going to consistently do videos until the end of the year. Um, I'm going to not miss a week this year. I mean, yeah, this year, so... I gotta commit if I'm saying I want a different life if I'm saying I want um, YouTube to be a part of my life as well I've got to make sure I'm doing the things you know I can't just be here and there about it I have to commit as I would to anything else if I was working for someone this is why I don't work for no one too because I used to walk in late every time I worked for someone but if I was working for someone I would wake up and even if I didn't want to go I would go because I had an obligation you know so I really have to treat the things in which I'm so passionate about the same way. Uh, even if I'm under the weather, there may be a time when you absolutely take a break and I feel like Spirit would tell you that too. But Spirit has been telling me, are you sure you want to take a break? <laughs> you know? like it's. I feel as though I would feel at peace if I said, okay, I'm taking a break. And I took the break, but I don't feel at peace, so I'm not taking a break. But all right, let me go. Bye, have a beautiful day. Okay, see you guys soon.